Well, Australia's science agency, the CSIRO, have begun the first stages of testing for potential vaccines for coronavirus. Here to tell me more is the director of the CSIRO's Animal Australian Animal Health Laboratory down in Geelong, where the testing is being carried out. Professor Trevor Drew has been with us before via Skype. Well, Dr Drew, you're about the most important person in Australia I could be talking to tonight. We all want a bit of hope. You're about to start the first uh, testing processes. Tell us more. No, it's, it's not me that's important. It's all, the, all my team who are actually the ones who are doing the work that are important. Um, yes, we, we have reached a very uh, a pivotal uh, point in the development of this uh, uh, vaccine, or at least the validation of vaccines to get uh, to the Australian people and the people of the world, ultimately. So where we are at the moment, we have uh, been working very hard developing a pipeline for uh, accreditation of the of, of the of the um, vaccine. So how we do this is we we put um, a, a vaccine into uh, uh, some ferrets, uh, and then we watch the uh, progress of the of the replication of the virus, and we uh, classify it, and we uh, carefully define exactly what's going on in in the animal, uh, and then we know what disease looks like, what the course of infection in the ferret is. And then from there, we vaccinate the ferrets and then we challenge them a period afterwards and then we make an assessment of the level of protection. And we're doing quite a lot of complicated work around that piece, both in defining uh, the course of infection and what types of vaccine may, may be most effective and which, uh, which um, inoculation routes uh, might be most effective. Okay, so this is, would we call this the first stage by moving into uh, vaccines and animals? Is this the first stage in the process? Yes, uh, yes, well, apart from the, uh, the people who've actually developed the vaccine in the first place. So there was an organisation, or is an organisation, called the uh, uh, Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations, CEPI, uh, and they were a, a, a body set, set up uh, through funding from the Gates Foundation, the Wellcome Trust, uh, and uh, various other uh, contributory uh, people uh, and and also the uh, the G20 so the World Economic Forum as well so mm -hmm. so what this was was to, to develop a, a, a funding so we were quite um, fortunate in in that we had applied at uh, the Australian Animal Health Laboratory we had applied for funding from this group uh, to set up a pipeline uh, in about October November of last year way before uh, we ever knew about this particular virus was coming along so we were actually a little bit ahead of the curve in that we were already setting up that pipeline. Uh, we, know, we knew from SARS, the original virus that caused such a big outbreak in 2002, we knew that this virus was likely to infect ferrets because of the receptors that are used. These are proteins on the surface of the lung, uh, of the cells of the lung that this, this virus will bind to. So we knew that there was a good chance that ferrets would be susceptible. So the moment we got the virus, and we were very fortunate that our neighbours in in Melbourne at the uh, Doherty Institute with the first uh, group uh, outside China to isolate the virus uh, from an Australian patient and that's the virus that we're now using in our trials. Okay so I'm told this will take about three months after we get through this stage and let's presume you have some success what happens next? That's, that's correct. So, so what happens then is that the, 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 uh, um, the data that we collect uh, is uh, we, we present as a dossier uh, to the vaccine manufacturer and it's also made available to licensing bodies. And based on that data, that evidence, they will make a decision on whether or not uh, the vaccine is safe and effective and shows sufficient promise to take into the next stage. And there are usually three stages of this and they're all done in humans. And there's a phase one clinical trial which is essentially to prove that the virus sorry that the vaccine is safe uh, and then we go to a second phase uh, where uh, a, a small cohort of people are vaccinated that have potential to be exposed to the disease in nature uh, and then the third phase is a, is a final rollout uh, of, of the vaccine more generally. Trevor Drew just before we go give me your most hopeful answer here how long could we be before we have the vaccine uh, available um 
I, I describe those three clinical phases of, in humans. I think it, there is a certain amount of uh, speculation about whether or not we might be able to shorten some of those, uh, those sta stages, but that's ultimately up to the uh, licensing authority and, and, and the country and perhaps also the global situation. Uh, but I would say that the earliest that we might expect to see these trials nearing completion uh, would likely be the beginning of next year uh, and uh, probably more realistically uh, the middle of next year. All right, well, we've still got to hang on a bit and we're all wishing we you indeed. enormous luck and a lot of prayers are going your way to you and as you, you know, very Thank eloquently you. said at the, stop, at the top of the show there, you're amazing uh, researchers and uh, scientists. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.